Man, uh, Jelak. The, 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 the statement was not requested from the member of Okiamba. No, no, don't, don't, don't teach the new member bad manners. You see now, you see now he is rising. He thinks that uh, that's the way the business is transacted here. He has he, no, no, no. Let, let him first of all read the standing orders and. Uh, no, it is never done that way. No, don't raise, don't raise hands here. Press something. Honorable Kigano. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Generally, the matter of uh, voter registration was before my committee this morning. We deliberated on it. The matter subject of the statement was not uh, placed before us by that time. But uh, because we adjourned the meeting to Tuesday, two weeks is uh, adequate for us to discuss Kiaba and other areas generally and then uh, issue a statement. We, we are going to issue a comprehensive wish. There will be more registration. That is not the final registration. Yeah. There will be more registration. We have to issue a comprehensive statement surrounding, surrounding the whole exercise of voter registration. So Kiaba, among others, and, and Kenya generally, will be uh, subject of that statement. Thank you. Two weeks is now. The Honorable Sabina Chege, you are not satisfied with two weeks? Mr. Speaker, if the committee already had started the process, and this is just an additional request, I request uh, uh, the senior here to just give us one week so that the excesses will not have ended. So I, I, I totally feel that one week, because the committee has already commenced on the matters of registration, would be good for me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Kigano, perhaps you could expedite. Within a week's time, you can get the, the necessary statement. Are you able to? I am not comfortable because this is not the head of voter registration. This is not the head. There are a lot of uh, uh, anomalies, anomalies in the exercise to, to date. So we shall be asking the IBC to extend the period or gazette another extension. So two weeks, two weeks, we will be able to issue a statement. Very well. Very well. Next order. What, 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 what is out of order? Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I rise on uh, standing order number 91 on the responsibility for statement of fact for a member. Honorable Speaker, having listened to what the Honorable Sabina has raised, and the response by the able chair of the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, Chair, uh, Honorable Speaker, I was wondering whether, Speaker, it is in order for Honorable Sabina Chege, the member for Moranga County, to purport to be asking a question that is a matter that is already within her knowledge, one that the reason and the only reason why there is no voter registration ongoing in Kiamba today is because her party, Jubilee, and the candidate that Sabina Shege supported in the last by-election in Kiamba constituency has lodged an appeal. It is also a statement of facts, Honorable Speaker, that it is in law, Honorable Speaker. It is in our statutes. And Honorable Sabina Shege, being a member of parliament who is a legislator, making laws in this house knows that we have passed regulations in this house for IABC, that if there is a petition filed in a court of law, there is no voter registration that can go on in that particular constituency, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, I, I, I'm wondering whether Sabina Shege is not out of order to be misusing her privilege as a member of this house to come and drive partisan agendas in Kiamba constituency on behalf of the candidate that she was supporting in the last by-election, 
who is the one whose proxies and supporters within Jubilee are stopping the people of Kiamba from registering as voters, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, it is a statement of fact, Honorable Speaker, that the people of Kiamba, the children of Kiamba today, Honorable Speaker, young adults who have graduated at the age of 18 cannot even access bursaries, Honorable Speaker, because they are being denied an opportunity by Jubilee, Sabina, Shege, and the person that, who has sent them to come and raise the issues. Honorable Speaker, it is only fair that we do not abuse our privileges as members of parliament, while as we are the same people, Honorable Speaker, while as we are the same people who have passed these regulations in this house. Why would we pass regulations stopping IABC? Maybe Honorable Sabina Shege should have brought a law that enables the children of Kiamba who cannot even access bursaries today because you cannot prove that they are voters in Kiamba now, now, to now. be able to get an opportunity to do so. Honorable Speaker, I therefore beg that, Honorable Speaker, with your great wisdom, now. Honorable Speaker, you do find that Honorable Sabina Shege is completely out of order and abusing processes and her privileges as a member of parliament. Now, now, honourable members, I, I am aware that um, as the date of 9th of August 2022 approaches, sanity is likely to, to, begin, to begin to become uh, a rare commodity among many <laughs> people who aspire to some, some positions. But please, remember, remember you are required still, notwithstanding the the proximity of uh, the 9th of August to still remain the chorus. So it is within the right for, rights of the member for Muranga to ask the question about uh, voter registration. And, and it is also within uh, the right for, of the chairman of the committee to come and give that, that, that explanation so that, so that, so that uh, the House will be that, be that richer with the information that, uh, that uh, will be given. It is, it is also, it is also, it is, you see, the existence, the alleged existence of a petition the alleged existence of a petition uh, is not uh, is, is, is not a matter that is to exclusive no, knowledge of uh, only one person. And if the, and if it can be given as a reason why voter registration is not happening in that constituency, so be it. Let it be given as a reason. Yeah. So please, let's not let's not. I think let's not get things which are out of this place. Uh, influencing what, uh, how we transact business here. Hmm? <laughs> now, 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 let's, let's not go there. The Honorable John, the Honorable John Bundy says there's a lot of heat in the mountain. <laughs> no, you know, can you tell the, the, the new, the, you are the member of Okiamba? No, just say, take your seat, take your seat. Don't raise, your, don't, don't raise up your hand. All you need to do is just do. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think it's a very weighty matter in regards to the voter registration that is going on in, uh, in other countries and other constituencies, but not in Kiamba. But I don't think the member for Moranga is in order, and she's at the, at the center of this issue, that the, 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 the candidate and the person that she purports to support 
He's the one that, with the Jubilee and ODM party, they're the one that who took me to court on the issue of the by-election that happened the other day, Mr. Speaker, on July 15th, Mr. Speaker. It is not in order to propose that she does not know the law that she's supposed to support, how much the law she's supposed to make, Mr. Speaker, that the member or the candidate she was, supposed to, she was supporting has taken me to court, Mr. Speaker, on the issue of that direction. And therefore, by that, the IBC cannot be able to conduct voter registration within Kiamba constituency, Mr. Speaker. The issue of young people, age of 18 and 24 within Kiamba, Mr. Speaker, they are not registered as a voter. And you know very well, when it was your first time to vote, and this one, Mr. Speaker, there will be the same people that you'll be coming to ask them for your vote as the president, Mr. Speaker, of this republic, Mr. Speaker. So therefore, the issue of voter registration within Kiamba constituency, it's a weighty matter. And I will ask the member for Moranga not to pray politics with the issue of voter registration. Okay, if she really wants to ensure and uh, the person that she purports to support, if she really wants this to go on, she just ask the special person she support to withdraw the petition and the voter registration will start tomorrow, Mr. Speaker. The issue of election and voter registration, it's a weighty matter that cannot be discussed under the bracket, Mr. Speaker. It is not in order, Mr. Speaker. Now, of course, um, of course, on our, on our members, uh, the, the, that, I, I don't intend that to be the, the business to be transacted this uh, afternoon. No, there's nothing, there's nothing to respond to. Many of, many of you appear to have forgotten, many of you appear to have forgotten the standing orders. You, that is not business. The only, the only reason that I allowed the member for Kiamba to, to say something is because the question, the, the, the request for statement touches on his constituency. That is the only reason. Otherwise, ordinary, and that is just by.